Hello everyone and welcome back. For any of you guys that are following the channel, you know that I'm down in Louisiana right now. And uh, you know that when I'm up in Minnesota in the summertime, I love to catch crayfish. I've got a video online and here on YouTube that thousands and thousands of you have watched on how to make a crawfish trap. I gotta call it a crawfish because now I'm south. <laughs> I know a lot of you have made, have made this trap. You guys have watched me use this kind of trap. It works excellent. I brought all my traps down here. I got down here and I read the regulations down here for Louisiana because it costed quite a bit of money for me to get non-resident licenses to be able to fish and do the crawfishing. And here I find out that my traps down here are illegal. You really have to look at the regulations. Up in Minnesota, a half inch square is legal. That and it sounded like when I read the regulations that it should be coated in plastic. So I called up the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries down here and asked them if just a galvanized chicken wire will work and they said that it would. Okay, so I went out and I bought some chicken wire. What I really would have liked is a little bit smaller, the closer to the three quarter by 11 sixteenths, but they, I just couldn't find it anywhere. So I got regular chicken wire and I decided I wanted to do a different trap design. When you watch the shows and the people are back in the bayous and they're catching the crawfish, they're getting, they're, they have a different type of a trap and it's called a pillow trap. That's one kind. There are several different kinds. I wanted to go with just one that would be uh, applicable for me, something that would be easy enough to use, and I wanted something that was quicker to make than my the oval ones that you just saw that I've done before. So it was like, why make the same kind? Let's learn to do another one. So I am going to show you. I've actually made some of these. They're sitting out right now, just waiting for the weather to warm up down here. It's been real cold um, for Louisiana standards. Cold. Uh, it's finally, we had 80 yesterday. It's supposed to get up to 80 today with some storms coming in tonight. So it's going to, you know, and then colder tomorrow. But the water should warm up and they should start coming out and I should be able to trap them. But I want to show you guys how to make a pillow type crawfish trap. It's really simple and it doesn't take very long, which I liked. Okay, so when I decided to do this, I'm only going to use three foot high wire. Most of the directions that you see, they want a four foot high wire. And then if it gets, then we set them straight into the water and they can see the top. Some people actually add another couple feet on top of that if the water is deeper. But the pillow type that I'm going to do, I didn't want it to sit up and down. I want it to just lay flat on the water like my other traps do. It's easy for me to use. I'm not using a boat when I'm down here this time. So it's going to be all retrieved from shore. So I'm using three foot high wire. All right, so it was so windy out there, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'd rather fight the sound of the traffic than fight the wind. First thing we have to do is cut a piece of wire 52 inches long. After we have that cut, go ahead and fasten your ends and just overlap them just a couple inches like so. And then just wire these together to kind of hold, to just bend this over just to kind of get it to hold a little bit before we do our fasteners. Okay, once we've got this lightly fastened together like this, now you can use wire, uh, twister ties, some people actually run a metal rod through here to add some rigidity to, rigidity to it. Uh, I don't, but you see we're making kind of like a pillow. What I'm going to use is these zip ties. I've got a whole bunch of them and we're just going to take and zip tie together every so often to hold that together. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this together. I want you guys to take a look at these clips. You can see one of these traps. I've got a couple of them set and I have, like I said, I haven't caught any crawfish in them yet, but I have caught a couple other things and you can take a look right now. Well guys, no crayfish yet, but we did get a sunny. <laughs> I think I'll throw him back. Okay guys, so this time I caught a turtle, but I have yet to catch what I am looking for. Well there you can kind of see how they are in the water anyway. And uh, now that we've got this round cylinder creating a pillow, do our ends. Now when you see the tall ones that the professional people use when they go in like this all they do is have a cone on the bottom. Since I want to throw mine in flat we're actually going to do three cones in this one here and you'll see how that works. But just so you know if you want an upright trap 
you're only going to do a cone in each corner. If you throw it in like I do, you can put a third cone in so here. So in each corner, we want to leave three inch space open right here. And so right here is where I'm going to go ahead and put a zip tie. You can put a wire, whatever it is. Leave a three inch space open on each end. Okay, so now we came in three inches here, three inches here, zipped it together. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and close this whole bottom end up. Okay, now that that's in, we're really starting to create a pillow, as you can see. And now you can use a lot smaller of these ties. These are just ones I have laying around. That's why I'm using them. So now we got to create a funnel in there. And when I first looked at this, I thought there is no way that we're going to make a funnel out of that. But it actually works really easy. Okay, so once you get like this, all you have to do is you just invert this in. See how easy that is, just creating a funnel? And you want it kind of up at an angle toward the middle, like so, toward the middle of the pillow. And by having that open three inches, it gives you roughly a two inch hole, which is what you have to have here in Louisiana. Okay, so there's one funnel done. Now we'll do the other side. Okay, now if you were going to just do an upright pillow trap like this, you'd have your two funnels in there, you'd be done, except for the top, you would then just close up like this here, put your bait in, some people use clothes pins, whatever, to close this, and it would sit in the water like that, but I'm not going to do it that way, so we're going to make one more funnel. Okay, now that I've got one here with my three inches, I put one over here around the center, now I'm just going to go ahead and tie the rest of this little part up right here, so this is closed. Okay, one more time we're going to make a funnel. Now this is the spot right here that I tie my rope to. Uh, because I have to rope these, I'm doing it off of the shore, not out in a boat. So I put a couple of bigger twister ties here, or at least a couple more twister ties, or zip ties, whatever these things are called. I would just beef this area up with more wire or whatever you're using. So you can pull on it if it gets caught on anything. Okay guys, so there you go. Very easy to make pillow trap for crawfish. I'm going to show you a few clips at the end of this when I'm throwing the traps out and stuff like that. Close up the top right here, throw your bait in. That's how you dump out your crawfish. Throw it in the water. Remember, some states you have to have your trap tagged. In this state I have to have it tagged with my license number. Minnesota, I have to have it tagged with my phone number. Make sure you read your regulations. This is legal in Louisiana, and uh, just imagine it wouldn't be in Minnesota also, but what's legal in Minnesota isn't legal here in Louisiana. So always read your regulations. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope we catch a lot of mud bugs. Is redfish head in there for bait?